Hey guys, I just installed Debian on my computer with AMD Radeon graphics chip. You can check the information about your graphics adapter in the terminal with this command. It shows that the graphics chip is indeed made by AMD. As you can see, the driver for this device isn't working properly because the screen resolution is low. You can check the current activated resolution with xrender command. The active mode is marked with the asterisk. There are three main AMD graphics drivers, Radeon, AMD GPU, and Catalyst, also known as FGLRX. Radeon and AMD GPU are open source drivers, and Catalyst is proprietary. I do not recommend installing the proprietary AMD driver on Debian, because after doing so you would need to rebuild the driver every time you update the Linux kernel, and if one day you forget to do that, you won't be able to boot your desktop environment. If you really need the proprietary driver, Debian distribution simply isn't for you. I would recommend Manjaro. In this video I will tell you how to install and activate the open source drivers in Debian. They work really good. Ok, back to our fresh Debian installation. Before you install any drivers, it's necessary to upgrade your kernel to the latest available version. We can do that by running this command. You will need administrative rights for that. Use sudo or su command. You need to reboot your computer for the new kernel to be loaded, so I'll see you guys right after I reboot. I'm back, let's continue. Usually necessary open source drivers are already pre-installed in Debian by default, but it doesn't hurt to make sure. Let's do it with those commands. As you can see, I already have those packages installed. If you didn't have them, after the installation you need to reboot your computer one more time to make sure that the drivers are loaded. So it looks that I have the drivers installed, but they're not working. The resolution is still low. Let's return to our command that showed information about the graphics chip and try to investigate the problem. The line kernel modules shows compatible drivers. I have Radeon driver ready to be used. But we don't have the line kernel driver in use, which means that currently none of the two open source AMD drivers are loaded into memory. The command shows that the Radeon driver is supported by this chip and it's installed. Why isn't it activated? Unfortunately on newer graphics chips, AMD requires to install proprietary firmware, also known as microcode, in order to utilize all the features of the chip. On this computer, that includes higher screen resolution support. On some computers, the resolution is fine from the beginning, but without the microcode, the 3D rendering engine cannot be activated. I don't like proprietary code, because we don't know for sure what that code does. But in this case, there is no other choice. So if you trust AMD Corporation, you can install the proprietary microcode. I'm going to show you how to do that. First, you need to activate non-free Debian repositories. If you followed my tutorial about Wi-Fi drivers, you already have those repositories activated, so skip this step. To open the repositories list file, you should run this command. In the file we can see all the repositories used in the system. In order to add non-free repositories, let's add words contrib and non-free at the end of each line after main. You can move the cursor with the arrow keys on your keyboard. Once we're done, we need to save the file by pressing Ctrl and O on your keyboard, then Enter, and exit by pressing Ctrl and X. We should let our system know that we have changed the configuration by running the update command. Now we can install the microcode with this command. To start using the installed microcode, we need to restart the computer. See you guys later! I'm back. As you can see, the resolution became normal. You can check it with the xrender command. Check your computer for screen tearing. And if there is any tearing, you can watch my video on how to fix that. All the commands that I mentioned in this video and the screen tearing test you can find in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you later!